Thank you for viewing this Grail Coat video on texturing techniques. The following video describes some popular texturing alternatives. In practice, many other textures are possible, limited only by your imagination. These texture techniques can be used for walls and on decks. Here are some samples of various textures. Sand finish. This is white knockdown over natural stone. Heavy knockdown texture. Spatter or dash finish. Heavy curtain texture. Modern Spanish texture. Basic trowel texture. Stipple texture. Knockdown texture. Mix the grail coat as mentioned in the mixing directions, with the exception that it needs to be mixed a little looser with less powder to ensure good flow through the hopper. Every hopper and compressor setup is different, so start with about 30 psi, with the largest tip opening available as a starting point. Particle size should be between a half and three quarter inch across, depending upon the desired look. Do not leave more than a quarter inch of space without material cover. Cover an area no larger than you can attend to within 15 minutes so that it can be knocked down. The material sets up quickly and will be difficult to work with if you choose to cover an excessive area at one time. Knock down the covered area. Employ an X or figure eight type motion to give a nice non-directional finish. Make sure you have a clean, wet towel on hand to clean the blade periodically, as buildup will occur. Hold the trowel at a 45 degree angle, paying attention not to flatten out the material into large smooth areas. Apply only enough pressure to allow for a good knockdown finish. Mix the grail coat in the same manner as for the knockdown finish application. Apply the splatter finish over the second coat using a pressure setting between 35 and 40 psi as a starting point. The particle size should be between 1 8 to 3 16 inch. Do not leave more than a quarter inch of space without material cover. After applying all three coats of grail coat on the wall, it should be approximately three millimeters thick. It is a thin coat system that does not hide inconsistencies in the substrate. Make sure any inconsistencies are taken care of before applying the grail coat. Sand finish. The sand finish is our smoothest texture. Two applicators working together are needed to achieve this look. A fine green foam float is needed. We will show several different applicators achieving this texture. Note that each applicator has a slightly different technique. You will develop your own technique as you work with the product. Pictured here are close-up views of the sand finish. Notice the two applicators working side by side. The first applicator applies the second coat to the wall and immediately the second applicator uses the green foam float to create the sand finish. They work closely together so that the material is still wet when the second technician textures the area with the float. Keeping the foam float clean is important. Notice in a moment the technician will clean his float off on a regular trowel. We will show this in slow motion.
Using a light touch works best with the foam float. The technician here is barely gripping the float at all. Experiment to develop your own technique with the foam float. The person trawling on the material has to be careful not to get too far ahead of the float person. In this example, the first man must pause until the float person catches up. Thank you for viewing our texturing techniques video. For more information visit our website or call us directly.